You said this statement, never again. You got frustrated with something and you said, never again. <laughs> I said it too many times in my life. So, it was, I'll give you a couple of examples. 2006, I was in IIT and it was the year when you have to get into campus placement and I had a dream I should get into Qualcomm. But forget about Qualcomm, man, my CGPA is so pathetic, I could not even clear Wipro exam. So I said, never again. <laughs> and by saying never again, I was frustrated. At that time, I read a book by Robert Suller. And he talks in one of his books, he said, never believe in never. I like this line. I, I put it in bold letters in my room, never believe in never. So I said, never again. And I read this line, never believe in never. I said, okay, one day I'll get into Qualcomm for sure. Fast forward, 2008, I was in Qualcomm. Okay. Then I got a dream. I want to get into Texas Instrument, another big company in VLSI segment. I said, I want to be there also. So as usual, I gave an interview and I could not clear. So I said, never again. The moment I said never again, I was still recalling that line, never believe in never. I said, Vijay, never believe in never. You have to get into TI. And fast forward, in 2012, I was into Texas Instrument. Then I started my entrepreneurship career. And in entrepreneurship career, no matter what you create, no matter what is the product, you have to sell. And selling is something all techie guys are scared of. No different for me. I was also scared. So I want to sell. I started selling. I was miserable at selling. I could not sell anything. I said, never again and the moment i said never again i remember the line never believe in never i said vijay if you cannot sell forget about company you better do a job only and i learned how to sell fast forward i was able to successfully sell then the time came I, I we got into insurance also i started selling insurance and insurance selling is so pathetic because you do not know how to talk you have no idea and i said i could not sell again what my brain said never believe in never and i said i have to sell fast forward i was we were among we were selling max life insurance at that time and i was in royal Sundaram. So we, we had a couple of insurance dealership in our hand and we sold it and I was able to go into top 10 in South Zone. From there we started. So I, Then I started another thing in my life. I want to start my coaching company. Again, for coaching company, it doesn't matter how good you are. You have to find client and finding client is again selling and selling is something which I don't like. But then I said never again and I said never believe in never. So my question to you is right now this. What is your never again statement right now? In which topic are you saying never again and stopping? Are you stopping there? If yes, then let me encourage you. Do not stop there. Write down these bold letters. Never believe in never. Reason being, whatever is your weakness today, that is just a temporary phase. In next few months, in next few years, if you really want to become successful, you will become better at it. Only day you can become better at it. If you stop saying never again, if you say never again, you stopped all your possibilities. You stopped all the channels of growth for you. But if you say never believe in never, now you have a scope that you can find some path and if you can find some path no matter how difficult is your journey right now you will eventually find out a way and there is a way that is known as possibility thinking so i'm sure if this is the phase we are right now you are in then start using this line never believe in never and i'm sure you can succeed if you liked what i said right now and if you have some experience in this area why don't you share your experience what was your experience with never again and if you had some great experience share it with us and pass it on to five people because there are a lot of people who are right now saying never again and we want to protect them we want to protect them from themselves because nobody is in a phase where they cannot succeed so i hope it added value to you and i'll see you tomorrow with another good lesson